Hey everybody, this is Steve, and apart from just talking or thinking, as Christians, we also need to do a bit more doing. We've started this new season of Be the Bee on a really practical note, focusing on the things we need to do to grow closer to God and neighbor and ways to get started. One of the most practical and concrete things we can do is change the way we act towards others. And I'm inspired here by the great work of Philoptochos. Founded in 1931, Philoptochos is the national charitable and philanthropic outreach society of the Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America. With over 26,000 members in over 400 chapters across the country, Philoptochos is an incredible organization doing critical, Christ-centered work. For 85 years, the women of Philoptochos have dedicated themselves to serving people in need, both in their local communities and around the world. In recent years, for example, they've supported organizations and projects such as the UN's International Children's Emergency Fund, IOCC, assistance to victims of Hurricane Sandy and the recent floods in West Virginia and Louisiana, assistance to victims of human trafficking, assistance to veterans serving three quarters of a million meals for their Feeding the Hungry initiative. The list goes on. And that's just at the national level. Each local chapter does amazing work to support those who are suffering in their own local communities. Everything from food and rent assistance, to paying for medical bills and school supplies, to offering comfort and sympathy for those who are sick or have lost a loved one. In 2015 alone, Philoptochos donated over $1.7 million to worthy causes around the world. Philoptochos is made up of women that we can all look to as real examples of how to live out the gospel call to love God and our neighbor. And National President Maria Logos recently set forth a simple goal that expresses this personal love for neighbor in such a profound way. Her goal is that we all do more doing. Philoptochos women are strong and creative and tireless, and I think we can do even more. And by that, I suggest a more tangible, a more hands-on kind of philanthropy. A move back to basics, if you will. I will propose today that we do more doing. More hands-on philanthropy, engaging all members of our community in our work. It's a challenge that we all can accept. To not simply let our philanthropy and our charity end with giving money or signing petitions or talking about the woes of the world, but to let it continue into personal action. To do more with our own hands and hearts. To serve God by serving our neighbor. And that goes for all of us because we don't need a checkbook to do that. When we hear the word philanthropist, we might imagine Bruce Wayne at a gala in a bow tie when, in reality, it is Christ who is the greatest philanthropist. It is Christ on the cross that the hymns of the church call again and again philanthropos, which means the lover of mankind. And it is the example of Christ crucified that shows us what it means to be a real philanthropist, that a true lover of mankind makes real, tangible sacrifices out of love for God and neighbor. When we hear the word charity, we may only think of nonprofit organizations or programs or maybe something negative that we would never accept. But being charitable really means something closer to showing compassion, goodwill, concern, sympathy, and tenderheartedness towards others. Being charitable means actively searching for the image of God in each and every person we encounter and treating them with love no matter their past, no matter their struggles, which is what we try to do as we try to be the bee. And here's a great next step for each of us. October 22nd is Make a Difference Day, and Philoptochos is one of the many organizations taking part. On that day, Philoptochos and we at Y2AM are inviting Orthodox Christians across the country, young and old, to gather to serve God and neighbor and hopefully make a positive difference in their communities. Whether it's little kids writing cards for soldiers overseas, or teenagers cleaning up a local park, or adults serving meals to those who are hungry, there's something each of us can be doing on October 22nd. What are some ways you and your parish can participate in Make a Difference Day? Leave us a comment. Let us know. And don't forget to share the word with your family, friends, and fellow parishioners. As we continue to take steps closer to Christ, I think we'll all realize that there's more we can do to share God's love with our neighbors and neighborhoods each 
and every day. There's more we can all do to not simply hear God's Word, but to also do God's Word, to take concrete action for the life of the world. So let's be the bee and do more doing. Be the bee and live orthodoxy. Remember to like and subscribe and share. I'll see you all next week. Thanks to our supporters on Patreon who helped make this episode possible. To support the creation of more Orthodox Christian content, please visit patreon.com slash y2am. And be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes of Be the Bee, and every Monday for new episodes of The Trench. <laughs>